Hello YouTube and welcome back, this is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're looking at the five worst bludgeons or maces in Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, you know, if you've seen the other two ones that I've done in this series already for axes and short swords, you know where we're going here. We're looking at the maces or bludgeons in this game that are just useless. You know, for, for almost any sense, you know, of combat, these are not good weapons. And since we're doing bludgeons, we can't look at them on the wheel, but we can look at other things. So let's just get right to it. So starting us off with number five, we have the Morgenstern, or Morgenstern, which I'm pretty sure is just German or Czech or something for Morningstar, because that's what it sounds like. Um, this one has a damage of 40, so not too terrible yet, and a price point of 222.8, uh, so still relatively high. I think it has an interesting look. It appears to be hollow. You can see right in there it's, it's hollow and it's got strips of metal with spikes on them. So that's interesting. It says, A mace with a round star-like head covered in sharp spikes, which can deal a fatal blow to even a well-armored foe. Like other types of maces, it is not the best weapon for defense, and therefore it is usually used in combination with a one-handed shield. So, yeah, I would I would agree that any, of, any mace should always be used with a light one-handed shield. Anyway... This one uh, is not, you know, too terrible yet, with a Charisma of 10 and a Durability of 40. This isn't terrible. Uh, but let's, since we can't look at it on the wheel, let's just take it out and swing it around a bit. So as you can see, just from looking at it there, it's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool looking weapon. Like I said, I think this is just supposed to be a morning star. Oh, that's right. They don't want you having weapons out in town. But anyway, from looking at it here, you know, it's, it's a decent looking weapon. Let's hit something with it. There. It's officially a combat demo. But yeah, so that's number five. Let's move on to number four. So at number four, we have the Pernatch, or Pernak. I, I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, it has a damage of 39 and a price point of two, uh, 277.3, so actually a bit more expensive than the last one. This one says, the flanges of this mace are sharpened, so as well as dealing heavy blows, it can slash too. Like other types of maces, it doesn't provide much cover, and therefore is mainly used in combination with a one-handed shield. So, yeah. Duh. Uh, this one has a Charisma 11 and a Durability of 41, actually making it better by one point in each one than the last one, but still lower in damage. Uh, let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, it's pretty, oops, pretty plain Jane looking. Uh, it does have the sharpened flanges, they come to a point on each end, so, you know, it's decent for puncturing damage, I would assume. Uh, other than that, you know, not much to look at here, so let's move on to number three. So for the third worst mace in the game, we have the unironically named Mace. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this one has a damage of 37, putting it two points lower than the previous one, and a price point of 109.6, making it significantly cheaper. This one says, a mace with a metal-plated head, suitable not only for dishing out beatings, but for combat as well. Like other types of maces, blah blah blah, use a shield. So this one has a charisma of 8, moving down a bit, and a durability of 35. So let's take a look at it. So this one looks a lot like the last one, except for the flanges are a bit less pointed and so therefore less sharp, so not quite as good at puncturing. But that being said, this is still great for beating armored opponents. I mean, as great as it can be for such a low damage. Uh, let's move on to number two, the second worst mace in the game. So at number two, the runner-up for worst bludgeon in the game, we have the Spiked Club. A uh, funny looking weapon. Here we have a damage of 34 and a price point of 48.6. This one says, the spike club is the poor man's substitute for a mace. It's lighter and can't withstand much abuse. But unlike the mace, it has spikes that can do damage the mace can't. Like other types of legends, blah blah blah, use a shield. So this one, um, although being the second worst bludgeon in the game, it's actually not bad against uh, lightly armored opponents, you know, people in just clothing. Because it, it does blunt damage, but also has a bit of, you know... Uh, poking, I guess, can make them bleed, so it's it's good for that, but that being said, it has a pretty low charisma of 6 and a low durability of 27, so let's just take a look at it. So you can see here, uh, it's a spike club. It basically looks like <laughs> a potato masher, like not a grenade, but the actual potato masher that someone put some spiked bands around. I don't think this would hold up very well just looking at it. I feel like he gave this a good couple good whacks against a heavily armored opponent, and that head would break right off. But let's move on to the number one worst bludgeon in the game. So for the number one worst bludgeon in the game, we of course have the bludgeon. This one's basically just a club. This one has a damage of 31 and a price point of 26.6. Now before I get any further into it, uh, this one is the worst damage wise in the game, but I, it can be useful if all you want to do is knock out your opponent if you never want to actually kill them, because as far as I know, I don't think you can kill anyone with this. 
But it says, a primitive weapon, good for straightening out disobedient stable boys or chasing off thieves, but not a lot of use against armored opponents. And I can attest to that. I've used this on, you know, people wearing full plate armor, and you can beat on them all day, and they just, it doesn't do much. They'll lose their stamina after a while, but they you, you'll never kill them. Uh, this one has a charisma of 4 and a durability of 25, making it not a very durable or charismatic weapon. So let's take a look at it. And there you have it. It's basically just a stick. You know, not much to say there, just a stick. So that does it for this video. Now you know the five maces or bludgeons that you should avoid in this game if you'd actually like to kill your opponent. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you like the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.